सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल सी द समरी ऑफ पॉट ऑफ गोल्ड सो लेट्स बिगिन बिकॉज हेयर आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन द हिंदी मीनिंग ऑफ दिस समरी बिकॉज यू कैन फाइंड मेनी हिंदी समरी ऑन यूट्यूब सो हेयर आई विल ओनली प्रोवाइड यू द नोट्स ऑन समरी ऑफ पॉट ऑफ गोल्ड सो लेट्स बिगिन द प्ले बिगिन्स विथ अ मोनोलॉग बाई यू क्लियर हाउस होल्ड डेटी He tells us that Euclid's grandfather one entrusted him with the guardianship of a pot of gold. The god has protected the secret of the pot of gold with until now. He chooses to reveal the location of the treasure to Euclid because of his daughter Phaedria. The household deity tells that Phaedria has pleased by her devotion to him. He also revealed that Phaedria has been delighted by a gentleman of high rank. The only reason the deity has given of the location of the gold is to assure Phaedria's marriage to Lycondice, the man who ravished her or who delighted her. Meanwhile, Euclid is obsessed by his newly found pot of gold. He fears that even his servant Staphila will learn of its wares about. Meanwhile, Staphila knows that Phaedria is pregnant and she is much worried about her mistress's fate. Next, we meet Megadorus and his sister Eunomia. The siblings talk about marriage and Eunomia wants Megadorus to marry. However, Megadorus declared that he has no use for ladies of rank with high dowries instead he wants fedria euclid's daughter ironically the wealthy megadorus is also like nodai's uncle having decided on his course of action megadorus goes to meet euclid to ask for fedria's hand in marriage for his part euclid thinks that megadorus has discovered the secret of his treasure and his panics megadorus of course has no inkling of the treasure he lays out his suit to euclid who declares that he does not care if megadorus make a match of it with fedria the only things he wants provide that is dowry the two agrees on the term and euclid tells stephila that fedria is to marry megadorus that day the servant is distressed to hear this for she knew that her mistress is already caring like no dice child meanwhile hires a caterer and entertainers for the wedding As for Euclid, he is such a miser that he only purchases some frankincense marriage. Sorry, frankincense and a wreath of flowers for his daughter's marriage. As the cooks and entertainers begin arriving, however, Euclid becomes progressively more anxious. He thinks that Megadorus has set off the cooks and servants to steal his gold. So Euclid decides. to carry his pot of gold around on his person meanwhile megadorus is quite happy with his match he ask euclid to have a drink to celebrate but the latter refuses instead euclid makes his way to the temple of faith and hides his pot of gold there what he does not know however is that astrobilus the servant of lycondyes is spying on him for his master's sake when euclid leaves astrobilus try to look for the gold he does not find it and it disappointed euclid return back to check his gold and catch astrobilus looking around the temple He attacks Astrobilus and searches him. However, he finds nothing on Astrobilus and has to lead the servant to go. Next, Euclid hides his gold at the grove of Silvanus. This time, Astrobilus manages to steal the gold from the grove. Lycondyes confesses all to his mother and tells her that he wishes to marry Phaedria. because it was he who violated the young woman 
Eunomia agrees to help her son, Lycon dies. Lycon dies, try to convince Euclio and give regions to marry Phaedria, but Euclio is shocked and decides that Phaedria will not be marrying the wealthy Megadorus. Euclio's frustration is further compounded when he discovers that his pot of gold gone. He blames Lycon dies, who later denies any knowledge of the gold. Meanwhile, Strobilus tells Lycrondice what he has found. Then Lycrondice orders Strobilus to hand over. The two have an argument but Lycrondice finally succeeds. He returns the gold to Euclid who is so happy to get his treasure back that agrees to the marry between Lycrondice and Phaedria. And here the play is over. Thank you. I hope you can understand very well the summary of Pot of Gold. Thank you.